Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So I'm attempting to clean up the garage, which is boring the heck out of me, so I obviously distract myself with other projects. Um, here in my upper garage, I do not have permanent power um, that would have required another whole level of permitting and inspection and increase taxes on this place. They kind of consider it a shed without power. Once you put power it up here, they upgrade the class of garage it is, and they increase your taxes. Just like by putting in a cement floor, that was more tax, and putting up some blocks for the walls, which means um, it's kind of got a foundation type situation, even though um, it's floating slab, right? The slab floats, then the blocks, and anyway. So, um, where I live, everything you do, they want more money. And, you know, I run this extension cord up here, and it's set up year-round, and every few years, when the extension cord gets nasty, I just roll it up, cut out the bad places, splice another extent, you know, turn it into just a standard use extension cord and I um, replace it. This cord's been holding up really pretty good. I'm not sure what brand name it is. Anyway, none of that matters. Um, but I also have solar power up here. This battery is charged by a solar panel or a couple of solar panels on the other side of that uh, window. <clears throat> they, um, they're, you know, 15 watts each, Harbor Freight solar panels. And they've been charging this battery up here since I built the garage. And every once in a while, I'll use that LED light um, to find my way around. But I've really been suffering through the radio situation. The channel I like to listen to... I really get lousy reception and it's in the same direction as New York City channels um, from my home and the New York City channels um, beam quite a bit more power at me so um, this is your typical analog tuner boom box type thing and I've been using that but particularly during the summer. I don't know if it's sunspot activity or the humidity or what the heck it is. The reception is is even worse for me. Well, I finally got to the point where, you know, I don't want to play this game anymore. And I went through my hoard and I found this um, radio with the digital tuner. Typically, digital tuners are better. They normally... Um, um, kind of lock in on a station and kind of blank out the stations on both sides of it where analogs are not that accurate for a, a given radio frequency so they have a tendency to pull in the frequencies um, uh, all around it. So anyway I dug up a, um, a car radio and if you follow it up you guys can see the antenna right there. I hooked it up um, came up with a couple of speakers that were also floating around and put it in. 10 miles from I-88, Hanford Mills, not a working. So, and it, the, the nice thing is um, rather than drifting, you know, kind of getting two stations at once, and it's particularly annoying because on one side, of um, the station I typically listen to. I like to listen to NPR. Um, on one side of it is kind of an opera station, um, classical music, opera, depending on, on the day. So that kind of drifts in on one side. And on the other side is, is kind of a, um, um, I don't know what it, what it's called, a kid station kind of rep music kind of um y you know so it's as you're listening and you, you know you're tuning it you, you know with the position of a uh, of somebody who makes fine watches um having it go back and forth between the two 
the two stations kind of drives you crazy. Anyhow, um, basically what I'm showing you, and I mean this thing. A combative President Trump has made it clear. Right, it 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 doesn't it doesn't drift one one way or the other. You just you get just get that one channel. Also, from a tuning point of view, with this radio up here, unless I get on a ladder, I have a tough time tuning it. For me, it's a lot easier to just look right at the dial. Um, you know, I hooked it up. I put a fuse in it. Um, if I'm going away, it's easy enough to just well disconnect which I just accidentally did and I'm kind of big on making measurements some of you guys are big on that some of you guys could care less um, the radio itself um, uses just under 400 I mean if you turn it up right you can you can see that and um, with the solar panels on the wrong side of that low E glass, you could see it's charging at about 200 milliamps, and you could see it's using right now about 316. Once again, if I turn it up, it could go up to about 400 milliamps. So it, it uses about twice the power. Um, That, that the solar panels are currently producing. The solar panels produce a lot more power in the fall when the angle of the sun is is more directly on them rather than at the angle. So, um, and quite honestly, I could get them out from behind the window glass. Um, with the radio turned off, but maintaining the channel memory, it uses about four and a half milliamps. And it could, um, the solar panels easily can maintain, can maintain that. So, anyhow, just a little something I threw together. It's always nice to use a little solar energy. Um, I actually have solar panels downstairs that I've been wanting to um, hook up for some other things. But I try to be a practical person on it. I just don't want to hook up solar panels for the sake of um, charging a battery whose power I would never use. I'd rather hook up the whole affair that certain lights on the house or certain a certain function of the house would run on solar panel. Whether I set it up for a set of batteries that I only run the pellet stove off of, which wouldn't take all that much power. thing uses about 100 watts. Um, right, or some some other situation like like that. That way, the power is generated, the power is used, and uh, you're actually uh, doing something positive. Okay. Um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. I mean, this is just a junky radio that was you know sitting around. You could see it uses uh. Uh, right so um, obviously not a big deal to hook to the battery not a big deal to hook up the antenna and once again with the digital tuner it does a, a lot better job at picking up stations than that thing with analog I do have some other boom boxes that are digital but they don't they don't seem to be all that much better than that radio up there even I have the DeWalt one a couple of the DeWalt's and um, they're they're no better and I have this Ryobi radio they pick up the local stuff pretty good but for the distant stuff that are kind of crowded in with other channels to toward New York they don't they don't do a very good job for me but this thing does so I'm happy with it anyway I want to thank everybody for watching Thank you in advance of your comments. Um, remember to get out there, keep your feet down, keep your head up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.